Okay, this is Matt speaking. I'm making a video with my Gaia GPS here. The f this is for lesson two. What I want to show you is how to deal with maps. Now, what you're looking at right now is um, the Gaia um, Gaia Topo base map, which comes as the default, regardless of whether you have a uh, tier one, tier two, or tier three of the membership free. Um, membership or premium those are what they call the three different levels free membership or premium and um, so the Gaia Topo map is actually quite good so even if you just go with the free map I mean the, to the Topo map they have all the ski areas it's a it's it's nice with the Topo lines and everything so um, unfortunately I can't show you when I touch the screen or not as I'm moving around would be helpful but I'll try to describe um, um, describe what I'm doing, uh, when, so you need to so that you can know where where to touch or whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch in the top right where um, the layers icon is, the very top right corner, and that brings up my map sources. Now, right, I have the premium membership, and so you see I have a active set up here, the top three, f six maps up here, and then down here I have an inactive set. And when you first log on, when you first get into Guy, you might have none of these. And you, if you're on the free, you'll just be able to have this Gaia Topo, this top one right here. Um, and that'll be what you're limited to. If you have any of the um, higher levels, you'll be able to go down here to the bottom here where it says Add Map Layers. And you'll be able to touch that and you'll be able to search through a library of maps that are available that you can add. Once you pick and add one of these maps, select one of these maps to add, it will show up back in your, I'm going back twice, it'll show up in your list here. And so these are all the maps that I've added that I've considered at one time or another to be potentially useful. And so my top ones, I think, are, uh, let's double check, are, are up here. So I've got a Gaia Topo, I've got a Shaded Relief, Google Satellite is a custom edition, I'll show you how to do that in a different lesson. This USFS 2016, uh, trail forks, heat lines, and uh, Google Road is another custom edition. So let me show you each of these. So if I if I hit the little red X's on each of these, it just sends them, it takes them away from here and sends them back down into the inactive layer down below. And so now all I have is the active layer is the Gaia Topo. So now if I take this shaded relief right here and I just touch this one, it'll put shaded relief up in there. And because I have premium, I can have layers, and I can change the opacity of the layer. And so this is Gaia Topo without any shaded relief. And then if I go back in here to that layers icon and I turn up the shaded relief, I can get a much more visible, uh, e easier to visualize where the uphill and downhill is with that shaded relief. So I like to use that. Now you can move these layers, you know, I could just move it right below so that it's hidden and you won't be able to see it at all and keep it up, however, in the active list. That's what I like to do. Now if I grab Google Satellite, I'll grab that, pull that up there, make that active. That's on the top and it's full. And so I can, you can get a good satellite view. Um, I really like the Google Satellite best as the layers. So the other one I highly recommend is the um, USFS 2016. This one right here is a topo map. Uh, this is one that uh, Eric will commonly give us um, a printout of um, from Cal Topo. I'll just go full layer visibility on that. So that's just a, a typical Topo. It's not the US um, GS Topo quads. If you want the Topo quads, those are those are definitely in there. You can just grab US Topo or I think, I think this US Topo is the Topo quads. There have been different you know editions of Topo quads, so depending on the year. But this looks like the typical U.S. Topo quad. So those, those, all of those different layers will be available to you if you have anything other than the free version. But you'll only be able to do one at a time if you um, have the middle tier rather than the top tier. Okay, so one other thing. Um, at the very top here, above the map, there's this map overlay option. This is important because this sometimes you might not have waypoints showing up that you know are supposed to be there. And you can cycle on or off the visibility of your different items using this map overlay. So right now on the map, I have uh, tracks. You can see the orange and the blue lines are tracks. Let me go to a different map that'll make it e easier to see. 
So those orange and blue lines are, are tracks and the red are my waypoints. If I click on that top right layers and go to this map overlay, I can turn off the waypoints and I can turn off the tracks and I don't see them. That's not turn oh, that's a root, not a track. So I'll go back in the map overlay and turn off the roots also. Now all those things are invisible there and you might wonder, well, where the heck is all my stuff? You can go into this map overlay and turn these on to have all the, to see all the things you want to see. So each time, all I'm doing is clicking in this top right corner to this um, that little layers icon. I haven't gone into anywhere else yet. And so play around with your map sources and um, and showing and hiding. Well, it, I don't know if you'll have any waypoints or tracks yet, but play around with uh, showing and hiding using this map overlay option, and then um, pick out you know, browse through the maps that are available to you, see which ones you like. And then um, the last thing I will say, this is getting to be a long video, hopefully it fits, is how to uh, download maps for offline use. Now, if you have the free version, you can't do this. But um, if you have any of the paid, two paid versions, you'll be able to do this. Now I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to go to a different spot that I haven't been to because I have downloaded lots of maps. So you'll see when I um, go to do this, there's going to be a lot of red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the little plus sign that's uh, the top icon second from the right next to the layers icon. When I hit this plus sign, it gives me a long list here, but the one I'm going to choose is download maps. If I click download maps here, it brings up a box. Now let's see, that's what I was saying. Is that there's a lot of red there. All that red is maps that I've previously downloaded. So this box that I'm dragging around, I'm just picking up and dragging around. This is the area that I'm going to download the maps in. And I can drag the corners to be smaller. Let's go to rifle. There's some good climbing in rifle that I haven't been to in a very long time. Bring back some memories here. So it's up the canyon here somewhere. Let's zoom in a little ways. And um, I'm just going to download, I'm going to pick an area about like that, say. Just this is arbitrary. And then up in the top left, don't miss this, there's a slider here to pick your zoom level. And 19 is the max zoom there. And when you go all the way to 19, you can look in the right hand corner and it'll show you how the size, 463 megabytes for that full download. So I usually take it all the way to 19 because I don't know I'm like that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take this to a very small area just so that it's really quick to download. Okay, and then all you do is in the bottom right corner hit save, and it wants you know you can name it whatnot you can put it in a folder if you want. I I dump all my maps to a maps folder, but don't worry about that for now. And then you hit save, and then that thing will download, and once it's finished downloading, that map will be there when you go on a search that um, where you have no cell phone service. And that's one of the biggest uh, uh, key ways to use Gaia for our purposes for search and rescue. All right, that was a really long video.